Hi, my name is Amy. I'm the Outreach and Education Manager with the Ice Age Trail Alliance. More than 12,000 years ago, ancient glaciers sculpted Wisconsin's landscape. The Ice Age National Scenic Trail is a thousand mile footpath that traces the path of the Ice Age from the last glaciation. These glacial landforms are considered some of the world's finest and you can see them right here along the Ice Age Trail. Today, we're going to talk about six glacial landforms you can see along the Ice Age Trail. Let's get started. Our first glacial feature we'll talk about is a moraine. A moraine is a ridge formed by unsorted gravel, sand, and boulders carried by the glacier and deposited at the outer edge or front of the glacier. Moraines define the basic route of the trail and can be found in many places along it. Another glacial feature you will see along the Ice Age Trail are kettles. Behind me is an example of a kettle. A kettle is a surface depression formed by large detached blocks of melting ice that were buried with sand and gravel. As the ice melted, the other material collapsed, leaving a crater-like depression. Some kettles are more than 100 feet deep. You can find many kettles along the trail, and they are often filled with water. Let's talk about rocks. Specifically, let's talk about erratics. This is an erratic. For a rock to be considered an erratic, it has to have two characteristics. Number one, the rock is not native to the rocks in the area. Number two, the rock must be transported a significant distance by the glacier. As the glacier moves, it picks up these rocks and boulders and transports them. As the glacier melts, the rocks and the boulders drop and they become glacial erratics. Size does not matter. They can be small pebbles or large boulders. You will find erratics in many places along the Ice Age Trail. Another glacial landform that you'll see along the trail is a cane. I'm here in the northern unit of the Kettle Moraine State Forest, standing in front of a cane. A cane is a conical hill comprised primarily of water-rounded sand and cobbles. These deposits were left by streams that flowed downward through shafts in the glacial ice. Canes are intriguing because of their shape and the way they were formed not because of their size. Next, we'll talk about eskers. The term esker is used to describe a long winding ridge composed of sand and gravel deposited by glacial meltwater in channels confined by ice, like a river running in and under the glacier. When the glacier receded, the sediment was left behind as a sinuous ridge. On certain segments of the Ice Age Trail, you can actually walk on an esker. And finally, let's talk about drumlins. A drumlin is an elongated, teardrop-shaped hill. These streamlined hills were sculpted in the direction of the glacial ice movement. They often occur in groups known as swarms. Because drumlins generally form miles behind or up ice from the end of a moraine, they are rare along the trail. I hope you enjoyed learning about these unique glacial features you will see right here in Wisconsin. Next time you're hiking the Ice Age National Scenic Trail, keep your eyes open. You'll be sure to see some of them.